In this question, we need to use a linear approximation to estimate the cube root of 1001. To help us understand this method, it's going to be useful to graph the problem. Now, to graph a problem, we would need a particular function. And the basic trick for finding your function is to imagine that you take the number underneath the radical, or in this case, the cube root, and replace it with an x. So basically, what we're going to do is consider the graph of the function f of x is equal to the cube root of x. So let's go ahead and graph that function. Now, of course, this is by no means a two scale drawing of the function, but that doesn't really matter for our purposes. What we need is a point on the graph on our function f of x. And to find that point, you go back and look at that 1001 and you ask yourself, well, what round number is very close to 1001? And of course, 1000 is close to 1001. That's a nice round number. So we're going to select an x value of 1000. And what we want next is the y value. And that's easy to do because to find a y value, you would just plug your x value into your function. So you would have the cube root of 1000, which of course is equal to 10. So there is our point. It's located at coordinates 1000 comma 10. Next, we're going to consider the actual x value we're interested in, which is 1001. Let's exaggerate it a little bit by pulling it out along the x-axis to over here. That's 1001. If we were to plug 1001 into our function, we would end up with the cube root of 1001. And that's the value that we're trying to estimate. And now here comes the key insight. What we will do is actually look at this tangent line that is tangent to the curve at 1000 comma 10. Now imagine taking 1001 and plugging it into that tangent line. So you would end up with a point right there. And if you slide over horizontally to the y axis, the y value of that point would land right there in green. Look at how close that y value is to the cube root of 1001. It's very close. So what we'll do and here comes the punchline. We will find the equation of this tangent line. Once we have it, we'll plug 1001 into that equation. We'll slide over, we'll get the y value, and that y value will be very close to the q root of 1001. So on to our goal, finding the equation of that yellow tangent line. We know that the line is tangent to our function f of x is equal to the cube root of x. Let's just go ahead and rewrite the cube root of x as x to the one third. Now, to find the equation of a tangent line, you need the slope of the tangent line. So you would need the derivative here. So we're going to go ahead and calculate f prime of x using a power rule. The power rule says we can just move this power in front and then subtract one from the original power, which would give us negative two thirds. So there is our derivative. Now, be careful here you're finding the equation of the tangent line that includes this point right here. So your x value right now is the 1000, not the 1001. So you would do f prime of 1000. And this would equal 1 third times 1000 to the negative 2 thirds. Negative exponents are a little dicey to work with, so let's rewrite it. Let's reciprocate it. You would have 1 over 1000 to the positive 2 thirds. We'll take an aside and evaluate 1,000 to the positive 2 thirds. Remember, that would be equivalent to the cube root of 1,000, and then all of that raised to the power of 2. The cube root of 1,000 is 10, and then 10 squared would be 100. So going back to our problem here, we would have 1 third multiplied by 1 over 100. And then finishing simplifying, we would have 1 over 300. So let's consider the data we have for our tangent line. We have a point, which is 1000 comma 10. And then the slope of that tangent line at that point is equal to 1 over 300. Now we can package this into the equation of a tangent line. Let's recall the point slope form for the equation of a tangent line. All we have to do is plug 10 in for, whoops, that's the wrong way. Plug the 10 in for the y1, the 1000 in for the x1, and then the 1 over 300 in for the slope. So here is our tangent line equation. It's y minus 10 is equal to 1 over 300 times x minus 1,000. So let's just 
juxtapose the graph next to this equation to solidify our understanding. So there is the graph. Now remember, the key insight was to take the 1001 and rather than plugging it into the function, we're going to instead plug it into the tangent line equation. So you're now taking this 1001 and plugging it in right there. And that's going to give you the y value of that blue point, that point on the tangent line. And that y value is so close to the cube root of 1001 that it will serve as a good estimate. So here we go. We're going to have y minus 10 is equal to the 1 over 300. And then we're plugging in 1001 at long last minus 1000. In the parentheses, you'll see that that's just equal to 1. So you have 1 over 300 times 1, which is 1 over 300. And then finally, just add 10 to both sides. You get 1 over 300 plus 10 over 1. Maybe we'll find a common denominator. Multiply top and bottom here by 300. Whoa, that was fun. Not sure what happened there. So now we have y is equal to 1 over 300 plus 300 thousand over 300 interesting and then we add the numerators and we get 3001 over 300 that will serve as an approximation to the cube root there it goes again to the cube root of 1001 now interestingly this is our answer here but interestingly if you punch these into a calculator 3001 divided by 300 is 10.00 with a bunch of threes repeating forever. And then the cube root of 1001 is 10.0033, and then some twos seem to follow. So they're very close, as you can see. Your final answer would be this fraction right here. That is the linear approximation to the cube root of 1001.